what were some of the things that defined, you know, your businesses, your family businesses? What were some of the hard, you know, what were some of the hard things that, you know, the family has gone through through the years? The business has gone through. What day is it? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have that much time, Ray. I know, I know. Uh, Anthony, you can, you can go. Let me, let me get some thought. Hey, uh, you think you about it. Same right. stories. Um, yeah, it probably is similar. Um, you know, so, so the challenges, I guess, as relates to a family business, um, you know, there, there are certainly uh, challenges in working with relatives and family. Um, you know, there's, uh, you know, we've, we benefited by the fact that it's just my brother and I, uh, as much as it would have been great to have more siblings from a family standpoint, it would have made things much more complicated from a business standpoint. Uh, and, and my brother and I have gotten along, but, but there are things that we don't agree on, obviously. And, and we have a system where uh, my father is the tiebreaker and uh, no questions asked. And, and we always commit to uh, whether it goes my way or it goes my brother's way, whatever that third decision is. Uh, and, you know, we, we have an opportunity to make, you know, to present my father with our side and the facts and et cetera. Uh, and, and while we may not agree with the outcome, uh, we pledge to move forward 100% and not hold any grudges, not, not you know, I told you so or ambush or, or sabotage, I should say, uh, the decision that wasn't necessarily our choice. So, so we've had a few of those. Um, you know, that there, there are struggles in business and, uh, you know, I, mean, I, I joke about the Whole Foods project, but, you know, I'm, I'm fighting Wegmans, you know, the Wegmans family who doesn't want a Whole Foods there and they certainly have deeper pockets than I do. And, and, uh, you know, that, that creates a lot of stress in the family and, and it creates a lot of stress in decision-making. Uh, you know, every week we're forced to make certain decisions that have significant financial, uh, consequences. And, you know, depending on our mood, depending on what else is going on in, in our personal lives and, and with, with other businesses that we have, um, you know, it, it adds a significant amount of stress. To, to Ray's point, though, uh, you know, I've got a management team that's doing a phenomenal job with our car washes. And it's very important that while, you know, I want to put my fist through a door sometimes because of something unrelated to my car wash business, I can't go out there and take it out on my car wash employees. I can't take it off on my, take it out on my office staff who is busting their butt uh, to make the company work. Um, and, and so managing that stress, um, you know, and, and I like to, we, we do a lot of taking our staff out to lunch, taking them out to dinner, doing some one-on-one -on -one stuff. Uh, and, and we really do put our heart and cards on the table with them so that they do understand that, Hey, I'm, you know, I may lose my cool sometimes, not at you, but, but, you know, we have a small office, thin walls. They hear us yelling. They hear us slamming the phone down. Uh, you know, that stuff is real. It happens. And, and we want them to know that, Hey, you know, it, it's not about, I'm not mad at you. It's, it's, it's stress that I'm dealing with. And, and I want you to be patient. And if you think I take it too far, I want you to come in my office and tell me that I'm being, a, you know, a, a, a I was going to swear, but I know you're gonna I'm not sure what this, I'm not sure what this podcast is rated, but yeah, no, they're you're, welcome. You're they're welcome to come in and, and put me in my place and tell me to cool down or, or just, you know, go outside and take a walk or take the rest of the day off and, and work from home so that I'm not being a toxic element in my own business. And, and there are times where, you know, the challenges, there are times where I am a toxic element in my business uh, because of outside factors that are creating a, a bad person and a bad leader. Uh, and, and being able to, my brother being able to tell me, me being able to tell my brother, my staff being able to tell me, hey, you, you need to leave for a little bit because, uh, it, you know, it, it's not the culture. It, it's not building the culture. It's taking it down. And uh, th those are challenges, you know, and they're real. And, and it's, you know, I, I, I'm looking at all the names of the people uh, on this screen. And as much as we all have very successful businesses, and I, I know we're all very proud of what we built. Uh, you know, it's not all a bed of roses either. You know, there are thorns on those stems and, and you have to learn to deal with those too. Yeah. And it's, it's nice that you and your brother, have, you know, have figured out some governance, you know, and how do we make decisions as a family? That's a huge key. I talk about it um, with people all the time. Patrick Lencioni, if you haven't read Patrick Lencioni books, 
the five dysfunctions of a team. That's what you're talking about. It's like, just give each other the opportunity to plead our case and talk about it because I, I want them to know that I'm being listened and heard. And then, but once we do make a decision, regardless of whether it was mine or not, we're going forward. And that's really healthy. That's really, really healthy. Good job on that. The other thing that you mentioned that I didn't realize is that, you know, there's other siblings. Do you, how many, how many siblings in the business? You know, it's the two, you know, the two of you, how many siblings not in the business? Well, no, that's, uh, so what made it easier is that it is just the two of us. It is so, just the two of you. Got yeah. it. Okay. I thought I heard it differently. I just yeah. clearing that up. Okay.